Geographic Works is a showcase where students in years second, third, and fourth all uh, can audition works to be showcased in the show. We come back from Christmas after the Christmas break and we do auditions for Choreographic Works about a week later. This year we auditioned 126 pieces over the course of two days and we deliberated and in the end we accepted 44 works. My piece is called Amidst the Shade. Um, it's interesting because it uses a production element of a screen and a light and so it works a lot with light and shadow and silhouettes and that type of thing. This is a, a contemporary piece. It does kind of have this underlying narrative throughout and this kind of tension builds and yeah, it's really interesting. Contemporary dance is kind of the the general genre of the pieces, but there's modern, there's jazz, there's hip hop, a lot of contemporary, there's pieces that are a little bit more balletic, contemporary ballet, so there's a little bit of everything. Oh, I would never say, but I, I have I have a few favorites in the absolutely I have a few favorites, but I would never say. <laughs> well I'm going back to New Orleans. It's a very um, intimate duet. Um, I think it celebrates um, it's like pure raw emotion and raw dancing. There's not, there's no gimmick, there's no, we don't have props or anything. It's just pure dancing because we both love to dance. We started choreographing the duet I think it was over Christmas, so that was kind of the starting point, and then it's been constantly changing and evolving since then. It hasn't been necessarily an easy process. <laughs> we fight a lot. We fight. We're, we have strong personalities, both of us, so it's tough. But I think the end product, like once we did the audition for the faculty, um, once we had a chance to work with our faculty advisors, it really started coming along. I think the faculty advisors, like they, they work as like an outside eye to the piece, especially for, for a duet like ours, because we both choreographed it and we're both dancing in it. So sometimes so, yeah, it's, it's hard, hard to for see, us. It's like the whole picture and the effect of the dance. Um, so it's nice having an outside opinion. It's one of the favorites, I think, choreographic works in the theater school. I think people are, are quite impressed at the standard and the quality of the work that the students are doing and, and that they're creating. There's a lot of really talented young choreographers and some really fabulous dancing. Well, my favorite piece is uh, uh, Chimera. Um, I just, every time it goes, I just can't help but watch it all the way through. <laughs> Done, the music, uh, the movement that they used. Um, it was it was it was a very powerful piece, and I, I really appreciated that. What inspires me to dance is a lot to do with um, my past and where I come from, and I dance not only for myself but for uh, people in my family, and I'm almost proving myself in a lot of ways. For me, it's just the love of movement in general and being in front of an audience, especially with the lights um, and the energy that you feel from them, it just it makes you want to move on stage. And for me, I think what inspires me is just things that I live, that I feel in everyday life. There are a multitude of very, very talented people at this school, not only in the dance program, but in the acting program, in the production program. There is constantly very creative work that is being showcased and I would encourage the entire Ryerson community to get out there and to see some of the work that the Ryerson Theatre School is producing.